This is First Contact, stories of the call center. You start maybe with a text interaction, you get to voice that you have less friction for those agents and representatives to have a negative experience. Because I think you've in the past mentioned, you know, nothing like having a horrible phone tree or a horrible text experience. And then next thing you know, you get to an agent and they're frustrated and they're upset. And now you just have this huge impediment for that representative to have a good experience. You got any insight into that journey that can be improved or affected in some way or another? Absolutely. I can solve it for you immediately. Just if you're on a live call, it's active listening. If you're doing omni-channel non-voice chat support, then it's active reading. If you're just going to be sending out templates to people by just saying Christian and then the template and then at the end, it's, it's not personable. You're not taking out things that are specific towards my uh, concerns. What you're doing is increasing my not knowing knowing that it is a template. I don't even know if someone even read it. It could have been a computer that sent it back to me. So I think that if you're going to be investing the time, it's almost the same time, might possibly be more time if you're going back and forth and specifically trying to solve somebody's issue. My concern is once again, the vocabulary chosen is very cut and dry, black and white. There is zero empathy to it. The only times they say I'm sorry is when you're upset. And so I really believe if you're investing in omni-channel non-voice support, it should be from people with higher levels of writing skills so they can understand sometimes the expressions that people are writing in from, even if they're not even having proper grammar or even describing their situation in a certain way that these people have advanced skills to be able to guide them or possibly use deductive reasoning to find out what is going wrong. You're limiting me. You're giving me something where I can't quickly ask or feel what's happening on the call. So a lot of these things can be misinterpreted like bold cap. <laughs> You're yelling at me. So once again, someone could just be reaching out where I could be offended by that. So there's so much, too much misinterpretation on so many levels with non-voice support. I think it should be done at simple levels to gather information so I don't have to repeat it. And then I can pick up where I left off and they realize someone invested in them prior to the courtesy call. That's advantageous, but just not speaking to anybody at all and waiting 24, 48 or one week to get your information back. I'm going to go to another company.